Gamers of Reddit. What kind of video game would you create if you had absolute creative control? Wow but UE5. I'm currently working on one, so I'll get back to you in like four years. A mix of Forza Horizon and GTA with very good gun combat taken from serious shooters like Doom, Quake. Bunch of real cars with near sim handling. Race driver mixed with contract killer story and very satisfying gun battles. I'm basically only interested in racing and shooter games. So it would be interesting to see what would result from mixing the best of both genres. With a minimal amount of story thrown in. Basically GTA. But the whole map would be generated with voxels. In order to realistically simulate environmental damage. Such as cars crashing into buildings and leaving actual holes in the area of the building that the car struck. And explosions leaving behind holes in the ground. MMORPG on Unreal Engine 5. With a completely open world and everything you can do in life. But with the elements of fantasy. I love open worlds so I'd start there. Cell shaded games seem to have long lasting visuals. Sly Cooper. Borderlands. Jack and Daxter for example. Fantasy setting for magic variety stuff. Always liked the idea of encountering a character that's separated from their own world living in. Nature that's overpowered and tames the mythical creatures of that world. I'd want some sort of replay value so alternative methods of completing missions but only two or three ways. One true way for a best result, but others for a casual player. A great character customization. Something like GTA Online but more cartoonish. Similar to Arcane's animated series. Always wanted to create a character similar to rappers I listen to. Dreadlocks seems to be lacking in a lot of character creators. No pay to win. And every cosmetic is unlocked by completing challenges or multiple playthroughs. But I'd specifically make the multiple playthrough rewards invisible. So people don't feel forced to keep playing. But is hidden there as a reward for those that do. Unmarked dynamic missions. AKA missions that happen naturally. For e.g. in some games like RDR2 or Watch Dogs you can go to the bar and get drunk. Well turn that into a mission. Instead of just blacking out and jump to your character waking up in a ditch. You find yourself in a human trafficking situation and have to break out. The goal with this is to take seemingly pointless activities and turning them into something more. I've always liked meaningful collectibles. One such being the haikus in Ghost of Tsushima. Maybe make the character have stories tied to in-game characters with a sketch of them and a little. Note you can find in your HQ. Maybe a framed decoration. Describing whatever lesson they taught you after completing their storylines. I.e. something like. This. HTTPS. Ico.files.wordpress.com slash 2020 slash 08 slash John dash Powell dash the dash curse dash of dash Uchitsune 2 dash 1 dot JPG. With a note like, the greatest archer in all the lands. I owe my skills to X may I live up to their name. One thing I've always disliked however is when you complete a game. Can visit characters in the game but have little to no dialogue options with them. I'd make every character have hours of extra dialogue if I could but to be reasonable I'd make. About 10 to 15 minutes each. Maybe 50 different lines that occur under different circumstances like time or day or location. Edit. Fixed typos. I'm sure I could get more in there but that's overkill already. I love games. A turn-based RPG with upgrade paths. A fully realistic cop simulator game. First person and everything. Would be down to having to manage your family relationship. 
as in doing too much overtime might pay off your hose way faster but not spending time with wife, husband and kids will end up in divorce. Also have to focus on health outside of work. Too much drinking, fast food and you won't be able to chase down faster peeps. Strict rules so if you have a bad shooting, game ends straight away and have to start from scratch. Tons more could go into this. Like a promotion system so you could eventually go work for the FBI. Or if you want just be a small town cop for as long as you want. Might be mostly sandbox but could have some story elements also. The more I think about it the more I want to add. A 3D ant colony simulator where every tunnel and resource is managed and large scale battles are fought against other colonies and insects and even humans with magnifying glasses and ant spray. I'm talking model the entire house and yard and have a 3D world under the surface. A bad one. I would make a open world RPG. It would be set in New York City. You're a guy from the streets and you end up becoming a soldier in the mafia. You get to pick among the five families to serve. You can pick what you say to other NPCs and change to story depending on your decisions. If you end up becoming a made man in one of these families and can move up the ranks to captain or conciliary to underboss to being the head of the family. I would have so many shops and vehicles to choose from. I would allow weapon customization. I would would create even a map where it's somewhat of a strategy game to where you can buy properties and shake down shops for protection money and even start wars and selling drugs. It would be awesome.